In this video, I'm going to be showing you the topics that you should be publishing your books in this Q4. Hint, it's not what you expect. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken and I'm giving away the secrets to Amazon KDP. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure to subscribe. Let's waste no time. Let's get right into this. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves when considering our topics for Q4 is what type of books are people buying in Q4? You're probably thinking things like Christmas books, Christmas coloring books, activity books, Halloween related books, even Thanksgiving related books. Well, you're wrong. You don't want to publish in these niches. These niches are extremely saturated. They're going to die off in the new year and they're going to have an extremely high ad cost. So we actually want to go after topics that are less saturated that still have a big increase in sales in Q4 and they continue to sell into the new year. So let's get into these three topics and what they look like. So the first one is health and wellness. What exactly is health and wellness? So this is books like yoga, yin yoga, therapeutic yoga, things like fitness, bodyweight exercises, strength training for seniors, different type of diets. The whole new year resolution thing is the new year, new me. People come in with a new mentality. They want to lose some weight. They want to make some different habits. They want to make some changes. And these are the books that they're buying. And they start buying them for gifts for people and even just early on so they can get a head start into the new year. You should also look out for books in the whole self self-improvement section, different type of journaling, gratitude journaling, self-love workbooks. Be specific and really go deep and try to find the specific topics that people are going to be using just to improve themselves because this is what people do in the new year. So number two is education. So education is huge going into Q4. It's going to be books like children's learning, spelling books, how to draw and write letters, counting, even different activities to learn things like languages and stuff like that. So coloring books also fall under this category. So if you're going to be doing coloring books, don't do the Christmas ones. Do things like trucks, animals, different hobbies that kids may have because these are the books that their parents are going to be buying them for gifts, putting in their stocking, and they're not going to be buying them Christmas coloring books. And even if they are, the saturation in those topics is insane. And you can definitely find some of these smaller niches that still have a massive increase in sales, but they're not going to have all the competition. And this is going to help your book gain a lot of traction, a lot of reviews, and then going into the new year, it's going to continue to sell as an authority in these topics. Another topic that people don't think about is things like study tools. Come Christmas time, college students are going to be going back home for a few weeks you know maybe their grades aren't where they need to be their parents are going to read them out and they're going to have to get their test marks up this is going to lead to them buying books like how to study how to be more productive how to get better grades even specific tests like studying for the sats digital organization all these topics are going to be really popular in q4 and going into the new year as well because people are all going to want to turn a new leaf and really up their game the third and final one is business business books are huge in q4 because it's company's last ditch effort to really hit their quotas for the year and this is going to be things like different skills for the employees, programming languages, Excel, business plan creation, data analytics to really track their numbers properly for the last few months of the year, chat GPT, marketing, anything in these topics, you're going to be able to find some specific niches that are definitely going to have a massive influx in Q4 and going into the new year as well. Another good niche is online business in general. You're watching this video because you're doing an online business. Come the end of the year, people are going to be thinking that, oh, they're not really where they want to be. They want to make a bit of extra income. They want to change their life. They're going to be looking at some different online business opportunities. They're going to get into crypto trading, maybe even stock trading, forex trading even just starting an online business in general, like affiliate marketing, self-publishing, starting a YouTube channel. With the really dive deep in these niches, do some keyword research, which you can check out my keyword research video to really dive deeper into these topics and find the winning ones. And then use this to your advantage because they're going to have a massive influx of sales, but not the same competition as things like the Christmas coloring books and stuff like that. Another great set of books for business is leadership, bosses, managers, team leaders. They're going to be wanting to improve their skill set for the end of the year, as well as going into the new year. They're going to be buying books that are how to be a better boss, how to communicate more effectively, how to lead a team, how to present and public speak, how to deal with difficult employees, how to hire employees, how to fire employees. These are all topics that are going to be extremely popular in Q4 with less competition and they're going to continue to sell into the new year, which is the theme of this. We want books that can capitalize on the traffic and continue to sell into January, February, March and beyond. So all in all, Q4 is a great time to get a massive influx of sales, reviews and a bunch of loyal customers in your ecosystem, which is is going to help your books thrive in the new year. So don't waste this time and money on books that are going to sell for two months and then completely die off and you're going to have to start from scratch. Use this massive influx of sales to your advantage to really build your brand up for the long term. So if you're struggling with your Q4 strategy, definitely check the link in the description and book a one-on-one -on -one consulting call. We can build out your own strategy, even help you find a topic to get into and work on a plan that you can execute to really capitalize on this Q4. So definitely check that out and see if it's right for you. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.